Hello again, Corey and everyone else. A super quick video update for the ongoing discussions of Corey Kell's 45 degree sector test. This morning, Corey sent me this image that was made by someone else, a fan, I suppose. Um, there's a lot going on in here, um, and I really don't want to drill down into every little thing. I just want to come back to the exact same point that I was trying to get across in our discussions before. So let me repeat it again. When we look at this diagram here, we see this is noon, right? And then three hours later, what we're trying to show, right? I think the diagram is trying to show that three hours later, the Earth has rotated. We're not trying to show that the Earth is going around the sun by 45 degrees or anything, we are just saying, you know, it's going to rotate in place. So we just took the diagram and moved it over a little bit. Also, um, we're not trying to show that the sun is this close, but the sun angle is being shown like, like that, that, that the sun is super close like that, and it, and it shouldn't. The line of parallel here, that's the line that the sun is supposed to be coming down on. And I don't think that the diagram is trying to show uh, the effect of a near sun. I, I don't think. Uh, but let's, let's just ignore all that and imagine instead that um, this line of parallel is the line that the sun is shining on this spot of the Earth. And so after... 15 degrees per hour rotation, three hours. We got 45 degrees of rotation. So the sun was shining right there, but then three hours later, the Earth is rotated. So that spot over here is now going to be going to be 45 degrees tilted. Right. That's what we're trying to show with the diagram. Um, and, and I'm I'm okay with that. Let's just ignore all that other criticism and instead ask some questions about this diagram. Number one, does this show summertime? Your observations, the ones we discussed on, on the live stream, were taken during the summertime. Does this diagram show summer? How would we show summer? Uh, I, as I reminded you during the live stream, um, summer days are longer than winter days. Like, I don't mean 24 hours. I mean, how long the sun is up above the horizon is longer in the summer. And that has something to do with the tilt of the planet. We know this, right? Is the tilt shown anywhere, mentioned or shown at all on this diagram? No. No, it is not. I, like, so I can't find it. I don't see the tilt anywhere on this diagram. And I think... Because we understand that summer has something to do with the tilt, we can't show a summer diagram and not show the tilt. So we have left something crucial out of the diagram if we are not showing the tilt. Okay, uh, let me stress that by pointing out that up here, this is the North Pole we're looking at, right? Up here is supposed to be 24 hours of sunlight in the summertime. But according to this diagram, we're still at this 45 degree sector line up here, even up here at the North Pole. And this this you know, pink line over here would be, you know, that's when it's gonna be over here, right? The sunset, sunset's over here. But up here at the North, it's on that same sector. So Something's missing. We got to be able to show that the sun is still above the horizon, even back here. So way back here, this spot that I'm pointing to right now, that spot with my cursor, the sun is hitting that spot. But this diagram does not show that. And that is because the axial tilt is missing from the diagram. When we insert the axial tilt, then we're going to see uh, a difference. Uh, I have reproduced that same diagram we were just looking at. Here's the North Pole. Sun's up there. You can see the sun is, is, is lighting this side of the planet. And 
Here's my little Kabul marker right there. And these beams are pointing back towards the sun along the lines of parallel. Let's rotate the Earth 45 degrees. There you go. There's 45 degrees later, 15 degrees per hour, three hours. That's so three hours later, and I have the time right there. So three o'clock. At 3 p.m., here we are, and you can see that the um, that, that Kabul has crossed right on that 45 degree sector, right? Um, that's what your diagram was just showing. Let's, let's do that again. Here we are at noon. Let's dial it back earlier in the day, three hours earlier. Look at the time in the up corner there. That's 9 a.m. At 9 a.m., coming around, there's noon. There's 3 p.m. right there. Okay, the 301. 3 p.m. I can get it. Whatever. Whatever, you got the idea. Okay, so that is what your diagram was showing. And I keep saying it's missing something. It's missing something. What is it missing? It's missing the axial tilt. The tilt of the Earth is 23, let's say 0.5. 23.5 degrees, and it is tilted towards the sun. See the North Pole? Right there, there's the North Pole. This is pointing towards the sun. So now we see the 24-hour sunlight. Look at this, let's rotate the Earth. Let's rotate the Earth, let's go back earlier in the day. Right, there's your, here's your 9 a.m. And we see the North Pole was lit then. Here's your noon. I guess that was 8 a.m. Where's our 9? Oh, wait. Wait, what's going on here? Where is 9 a.m.? 9 a.m. At 9 a.m., North Pole is lit. At noon, North Pole is lit. 3 p.m., North Pole is lit. Midnight. Let's go to midnight here. Midnight. North Pole still lit, and that's because it's been tilted towards the sun. You see how that's crucial. Now look at the difference. The problem in your diagram was you had the North Pole right here, but the North Pole isn't there. The North Pole's here, right? North Pole is leaning forward, and that is absolutely crucial. And the reason is because at 1500, let's get it to... 1500, I'll try and type in some numbers to get to exactly 1500. Oh, okay, there you go. All right, exactly 1500. Um, we can see here, Kabul has not crossed that line yet into your 45 degree sector where you have it drawn on your diagram. And it's because the whole darn thing has been leaned forward right there, okay? Um, seeing that in free view so that we can try to understand what are we seeing here. The problem is the North Pole is tipped forward and with it Kabul is tipped forward pulled as it's tipped it's pulled away from that 45 degree sector. Let's see the influence of earth tilt here. If there was no earth tilt you'd be sitting right on that line. As we increase the Earth tilt, let's go 10 degrees, 10 degrees. See there, it's, as we lean, leaning in, it pulls it away from that sector. And this is the actual amount of lean. So it's pulled kind of, kind of pretty good off of that 45 degree sector. All right, hopefully that helps. Let me know um, what you think. Bye.